Hi everybody! Um, today I wanted to make a video just to go over some of these little dinosaurs that I've um, recently posted on my blog. I'm planning to use these dinosaurs as Christmas ornaments. I still haven't attached um, the ribbon at the top for hanging, but I think they're super cute. There's two different versions, but they're made in really the same kind of way. And I think one of the best things about these dinosaurs is that they're made in one entire piece from start to finish. The only extra sewing is to weave in your one tail at the very end. And then if you make this little guy and you want to include the spikes, you'll have to um, attach those separately. But it's pretty easy to um, just kind of knot those into place. So the pattern is found on my blog, shemakescrochet.com. And um, unfortunately, I'm not going to show the entire start to finish creation of the dinosaur. Um, while it's a really quick project, I think that will take too long. I did just wanna show um, how I do the legs. It's really pretty straightforward, but I think that that's the most complicated part of the entire pattern. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you guys in this video, and then you can get the rest of the pattern details on my blog. Um, before I get started, the both the front and the back leg, I think I did that backwards, but the front and the back legs are made the same way, and the legs are the same regardless of which of the two dinosaurs you choose to make. So I have um, one dinosaur started, these are worked from tail to the head. So this is the tail, and then this is the, the top of the dinosaur. So um, in round 12, um, I've completed all the way up to the start of the leg. So the first thing you need to do is chain four, and then you're gonna work a double crochet in the third and the fourth chain from the hook. I always like to do this in the, the back bumps of the chain, but you can do it wherever you prefer. So after that, you're gonna come back to the, the round and you're gonna work two single crochets to complete the round. You're just gonna work them in the body. So the first one will go right there and then the second one so now um, for this front leg i've got to work um, around the body to get to the leg so i'm going to do that now so i've come back around the body again and i'm back to the leg where i had worked those um, the chain four and the two double crochets. So for this part, you're gonna work one single crochet, and in the pattern, I'm just calling this at, at the base of the chain, because this is what that is, because <laughs> you're gonna work on both sides of the leg. So I'll put one in that first spot, and then one in the second. And then this next little little spot right here is the, the two chains that we skipped for the turning after you chained four. So I'm actually going to work into the actual chain that's immediately prior to this double crochet stitch. I think if you are really having a hard time identifying stitches and you just worked into this loop, it would probably be okay. But... I'm going to actually put it in the chain stitch itself. So here you're going to work an increase. So you'll put two. And that brings us to the other side of the leg. And now you'll work one single crochet into the top of these two double crochet stitches. And then to complete the round, you still have to do two more single crochets of the body. So this is the double crochet stitch here, so I need to do one there and one there. 
So that's the end of the round. And then I have one more round to do of the leg. So I'm going to um, go ahead and work back to the leg again. Okay. So then for this last round, I just wanna check my notes again and make sure that I'm saying everything correctly. Um, you're gonna work a single crochet stitch into these first two right here. And in the pattern, I don't necessarily recommend, but if you have a hard time keeping track of stitches, it's not a bad idea to just kind of loop a little strand of yarn through those two stitches to help you find them in a moment. Then you're gonna work a single crochet stitch in these next two stitches right here which this is the increase that we had done on the round before. So now we're back to this other side of the leg and the, the two stitches that are left are the two single crochets that were made on top of the double crochet. So here, I basically want to stop working the leg. The next time I come around, I don't want to work, I don't want to keep working in this. That's, I want to be able to create the belly. So. The way I'm doing that is I'm going to insert my hook into this next stitch here and then skip the last two single crochet stitches I made and just come across and that's where I said if you mark those first two stitches of the leg it would help you identify that stitch better right now. So you work one by going through both layers and then you work the second one the same way. You're going to come into the next one, and then you're going to come to this side over here and go in the next one over there to work the second stitch. So now when you look, the leg is closed off right here, and you could continue making the round without working into those leg stitches. In order to complete the round, you need to make those two single crochet stitches again. And then I'm gonna do one more round just to show you skipping the leg. So there's 21 and try to get my hook out of the way. I've come up to the leg and you should be able to see like the back side of some stitches and that's from where in the previous round we worked through both from this direction. So we basically want to skip the entire leg. So I don't know how well you can you can see here, but if you look really closely, there's a little stitch right there and a little stitch above it right there. Those are the two stitches that we skipped. Um, you know, when we sandwiched the legs together and we skipped two and then went through to the stitches on the other side. So you're going to skip those two and then also skip these, these two stitches of the leg. And then you're going to just go ahead and from this direction, front to back, come over here to make the last two stitches of the round. And then I think it becomes even more clear that you've created this tube shape of the body again and the leg is just its own little part. So then you could continue working the body and you would get to the next leg and work it um, basically the same way. And then like I said, it's the same for both versions of the dinosaur. So hopefully that um, if you had any questions or doubts about that at all, that cleared them up for you and again, um, the pattern is found on my blog, um, shemakescrochet.com. Thank you.